Now, four years ago, the world's biggest study into the way our brains work was started. Around a third of a million British adults had DNA samples taken and did a series of mental tests. Now the participants are being examined again to compare how their brains have changed. It's hoped that testing will give clues about conditions like dementia. Well, our medical correspondent, Fergus Walsh, was the first person to take the latest test, and he's with us now. Morning to you, Fergus. Good morning. Was that a little bit nerve-wracking? Very nerve-wracking. Doing it on camera. The first time I did this four years ago, um, I was just one of the half a million volunteers to UK Biobank. Now, UK Biobank is this unique biomedical resource where half a million Britons aged 40 to 69 volunteered to give their DNA, blood and survivor, do all these fitness tests and give lifestyle information. Now, four years on since I did that, I repeated the cognitive tests that I did at the beginning. So let's see how I got on. 4274 1684. Like it or not, as we get older, our memory and speed of mental reasoning declines. Four years ago, I did a series of puzzles, and now I'm repeating them, as will other biobank volunteers. Oh, I, I got that one. Right. <laughs> I was joined by the scientist who helped devise them. He says our reaction times will have slowed, but even the tiniest changes could help the Medical Research Council study discover why some people, and not others, go on to get dementia. We hope to find out what are the causes of cognitive decline with age, whether they are genetic or lifestyle or both, and we hope to be able to advise people how to reduce their risk of cognitive decline and therefore dementia over time. If we can delay the onset of dementia by five years, then we can halve the number of people in the UK that actually get it. And I think that's a result for me. Oh, my me. Haslington. Anne Johnson was diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease when she was just 52. She now lives in a care home. It affects her short-term memory and makes reading difficult. She'd like to know why dementia has affected her family. My father had this before me, and his lifestyle, like mine, was nothing wrong with it. So I can't identify what caused it for him or for me. Um, so we need to identify if there's any common denominators there which give us a clue as to what may be the cause of this. That is what UK Biobank will seek to find out. Scientists are now analysing the DNA from half a million volunteers and will compare this with information on lifestyle and health records. It's a huge biomedical database. This should yield vital clues on dementia and may eventually lead to new treatments. So it's intriguing territory, this, Fergus. People would be curious to know, did you, was there anything discovered about how, how you, your tally changed? Well, this is interesting. There's no feedback. So this is, this is not a dementia test. This is a piece of pure altruism, which all the UK Biobank participants have signed up to. It's not about finding out about your health. Nobody told me how I did. I know I got one or two of them wrong. There were questions like, you know, if, if John's mother's brother is Jeff's sister's, you know, how, how are they related? One of those ones. One of those yes. kind of ones. Yeah. Um, so I, I got no feedback, and nor will anyone who signs up to do this. This is not about your health. It's about the health of your children and your children's children, and that's the whole thing about UK Biobank. But is it quite a commitment to say you will take part in this study? No, it, it's not. It, the whole test takes about... 20 minutes, half an hour, it's actually quite fun doing it. So if you, if you are a member of UK Biobank and they ask you to go online and do it, I, I would say go for it. And you, you're in, safe in the knowledge that this kind of information then can be cross-referenced with all this genetic information which they're now analysing. They're now analysing 850,000 biomarkers in every single one of the bio, Biobank participants. Because and it is an area in which there is potentially some exciting progress, isn't there? There is. I mean, dementia has not had the funding and it's not had the breakthroughs that we've seen in, in heart disease and cancer. But it's getting attention now. And this, this sort of study um, could be very, very helpful. It's unlikely to, to solve anything in the short term. But, you know, if, it, if we could delay the onset of dementia by, by, as uh, John Gallagher was saying, by five years, you'd halve the number of people who got it. Wow. Fergus Walsh, thank you very much indeed.